All right, guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel here. We're going to be working on GTO. I've got my good buddy Jesse here with me. Yeah, tonight. man. <laughs> and uh, we're going to be installing the fire bottles. And while I'm doing that, Jesse's going to be working on the hood up here. So I'm going to walk up here and kind of show you guys some stuff that he's going to be doing and helping us on clearance there where we move the radiator and some other things there. So uh, let's get in this video and uh, let's have a good time. Be huffing fiberglass and kicking bass. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so up here on the hood, we had a couple of things going on. Uh, number one, we needed to radius this off back here at the back. Uh, Jesse's gonna cut that off for us. And then when you open the hood up, right here where you can kind of see some of the <laughs> dust there from cutting on this hood, uh, this bolt right here and this tapered area was hitting in the hood. So Jesse is gonna do some cutting up here and I clean all that up for us and get this thing fitting nice as you guys can see it right here. So uh, yeah, we're looking good. And then uh, next episode on this thing, we're gonna be fixing this gap problem right here. Uh, what's going on is right here, there's a lot of slacking out. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's just how these header panels are. There's actually a uh, bracket, I don't know if you guys can see it, right down in here, right there, that's already actually on the car from the factory where we just need to tie in a bar from here up to here and now keep the slack pulled out of this right here. So in the next episode, we'll fix that situation right there. So that's coming down the pipe there. All right, so let's walk back here to the back of the car and uh, we'll get started on these uh, fire balls there. All righty guys, we're gonna be installing a fireball suppression system in today's episode. And uh, we've got the whole entire kit. We've got all of the stainless um, hoses. Well, they're not really hoses, just stainless hard lines. Uh, we've got all of our instructions on the actual pull handle. We're gonna be installing that today as well. And there's a whole lot of steps involved in on that. And then we'll be putting the balls in, in the back back there. So let's get after it. guys well we are working on the mounts for our fire bottles here okay so uh these are the billet mounts that we got for it okay uh one for the front and one for the back all right now we just bent out this u-shape uh brace here okay for the foundation of it but the problem is my bender could only bend these two bends so close together so we had to slice it and bring it together so these clamps would actually be close enough together to hold our bottles okay and that's why you guys see this uh where we shorten this up so we had to shorten it two inches and that's just because of my bender could only bend the bends so close together there but we're rocking and rolling here we need to uh use some different styles of uh bracketry instead of having it for a tube circle on here we need some that's a flat to weld onto here and uh, we're going to be in good shape, so let's keep on a rocking. Be real mad. Alrighty guys, from that last clip you guys saw, we actually had to move this bar right here. It was welded in right here in this location. It would not let the fireballs come back far enough. So that was the problem we ran into. I went ahead and just cut it loose up here and moved it down into here and I think it's gonna work real good. So We'll get these bottles back in here and we'll rock and roll here. All right, guys, we're gonna slap these fire bottles in here and see if I got our dimensions right here and uh, see how this is gonna look here. 
Oh yeah, it's gonna work out nice right there. I can already tell. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm just keeping these bags on here to help keep them protected. And uh, that way when it's actually time we've got everything powder coated, these things are gonna look very, very nice. Oh yeah guys, we're looking good there. All righty, guys, uh, we just wrapped up the live feed there um, on Facebook of the weight of the front end. Uh, it weighed in right at 122 pounds. Uh, the person who won was on Facebook. Uh, we actually had two winners who guessed correctly, and we ended up drawing out of a hat if you guys didn't catch that on Facebook. So uh, uh, if you don't watch us on Facebook, be sure and check us out there, too. You can just follow us over there. I'm maxed out on Friends on Facebook, so make sure you hit that uh, follow button there. But uh, we've done a live feed on Facebook and uh, draw down from two people. And the person who won was uh, uh, Mr. Anthony there. And uh, he commented on the Pro Street Error group. It's one of the groups that we post on a lot for GTO. And he guessed correctly uh, the weight of it. So a uh, big congrats to him. And he will be receiving uh, this prize pack right here of Full Metal Goat t-shirt, aerospace stickers, TSR stickers, TSR uh, tire gauge, and aerospace shirt, TSR keychain, all kinds of little goodies there that that gentleman will be receiving. And a big shout out to him. Appreciate everybody for participating. And uh, we'll get back into the GTO episode here. Jesse, man, you think we'll ever get done cutting on this hood? Uh, not a chance, man. It's never going in. When we is... get done, we'll figure out something else to do. That's right. <laughs> All right, guys, just kind of update y'all while I'm installing the fireballs. I got my good buddy Jesse here helping me out today with the hood. We had a couple of things going on. He's cutting us out some reliefs right in here. So this whole rectangle section is going to come out. The reason for that is because of this radiator over here it is hitting just a little bit and we want to give ourselves plenty of clearance so it's not rubbing or anything so he's taking care of that uh, another section too that we had to work on was back here was these radiuses right here uh, we had to work on that but um, and that was because of the fuel rails that uh, tkm installed for us but hey we're making clearance and uh weight reduction jesse weight reduction always man that's I wish right I could. that's right man <laughs> All right, so we're inside the cab here of the car, and uh, this is where we do all of our business at. And uh, today's install is uh, including the handle here to actually engage the fire bottles. And uh, mine is kind of positioned in a weird spot compared to what some cars are. Uh, I know a lot of Tim McCamus cars, he's got his handle right here, but they're normally a whole lot closer in here. But the problem is where I'm such a big dude and long arms and stuff, I needed it to be a little bit more room for me to actually get my hand up in here. So, you know, pretending you're driving, something bad happens, we're on fire, I need to turn the bottles on, slap my hand up here, boom, just like that, now we've engaged the bottles there. So uh, let's talk about this handle for a second. All right, so this is a kit that we offer on the website as well. Um, these things work pretty neat. There's one thing that I haven't finished doing yet, we just kind of run out of time here tonight, is actually installing the safety pin okay these pins come with the kit all right so what you do is you weld your little tab on there all right and once you got that tab on there you drill your hole through it put this pin in there that way when you're street driving or you're loading a car up or working on the car you don't have to worry about accidentally turning the bottles on when this pin is stuck in there and then when you're ready to go racing you pull this pin out and now it's ready to engage the bottles when you need to. When you get back to the trailer, put the pin back in, and it's all safe and sound there. So uh, we'll get to it here. We'll get this stuff installed, and uh, we'll keep on rocking and rolling here. But uh, this thing's looking good, and uh, we're getting excited, guys. All righty, guys. We're kind of in a weird spot right here, but uh, we need to talk about it. So what we've done is, if you guys can see these cables right here, below me here that is the cables that's going to the fireballs all right from the funny car cage and what we done was we took some tubing if you guys can see it right there and we welded it onto our chassis here good idea from blaine there 
and uh, now we don't have to use zip ties to run our cables through and uh, this is going to work really really nice right here it's very clean i'm going to zoom out and let you guys kind of see this we've got two of them in the cab here and we got one of them in the trunk and then we're ready to actually hook the cables into the bottles there so let's check this out here so here but i get you a better view yeah there you go so now all of the cables are nice and clean there so let's rock and roll guys hey guys we're about to go in deep back here and uh this is one of those many fun welding positions we're about to get in today so. <laughs> getting yoga yeah. treatment in today yeah. dude <laughs> we're about to get all up and personal on the full metal joke right here <laughs> Alrighty guys, I just want to talk about this little section right here for a minute because it might be confusing the way we filmed it here in the episode. So, these little bars, alright, that is this right here connecting to our handle inside of uh, the funny car chassis there. Alright, the cables that come with the fireball system have got little red handles on them, okay? So you pull those little handles off, alright, and you gotta thread the end of the cables that's in there okay once you thread it you tap these out all right 1032s work fit just right in here you got to drill them out and then tap them and then you can screw them onto the end here and then you got your little heim joint that connects to your handle over here um, i just want to kind of clear that up because that might be a little bit confusing there on how this actually works because of again when you get these cables from the fireball system they actually got red handles on them. And I'll show you those handles here. All right, guys, and that's those little handles right there. So they literally just, you push that little pin out, okay? And they're, and they're kind of a octagon, hexagon shape there. And uh, that's what's actually in here when you get them. You pull those out and you thread the end of it. Thread this. Now you're ready to rock and roll. But I just want to kind of clarify that up so you guys could see that. All righty, guys. There is the cables coming through into the trunk. We move the camera here a little bit. Yeah, right there. You can kind of see that little double barrel looking little bracket right there. All we gotta do now is run those cables through there, cut these cables off, and actually run them into the bottles here. And we are ready to start actually plumbing up our system here. But uh, as you guys can tell, these cables come extremely, extremely long and uh, that's that way so you can pretty much mount them anywhere in the car you want to there but uh, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this episode here uh, in the next episode on the fire bottles we will have the cables installed here and we will actually start running our hard lines and uh, we'll show you guys how all that stuff's going to work here so we appreciate y'all joining us in for this episode uh till next time you guys be sure to like share and subscribe and uh that's it for us see you